Parnell. Parnell staff member. Parnell. 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 The thing that I remember in 60 and 61 going to camp is it was really almost like going in the military. And I remember it rained. It might have been 60 that it rained so much. And those trucks, those blue trucks going out there, those double wheels, were, had rutted out that road down to Sour House 1 at Parnell. And there was a double width tire wide, and you'd have to jump across it over to the middle and then jump across it again. And then right straight across from site two right there was the handicraft. And then the office tent, and, and it was just a tent. Yeah. But the office sat down right there by the road. The commissary tent but it was in the same place the commissary was built. That time we were running, had a capacity for about uh, 600 kids a week in the two camps. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. 1989, the year of the mulch, the year of the rain, it was the year of the mud. And at that time, the activity yard was down by the Friday night campfire area, down below Shower House 2. I once was lost, but now I'm found. And so I was sitting there teaching this merit badge session, and I hear the tractor. Well, here comes Bradford, flying around the loop with one empty cot on the tractor bed. Ten minutes later, he comes by again. Same tractor, same cot, doing the same thing. Basically, I came to the conclusion after the third time that he'd done this that Bradford was just joyriding. you do the most dirtiest job shoving cow shit and when you got through you were sad it was through it's it hasn't told how much fun doing it <laughs> and uh, he was that type of person taking camp down we always beat stall i mean it was it, it, he used the competition there my happiest moments probably are the ones that are most memorable probably the be better phrase my most memorable moments and this goes back to my entire boy scout camping experience. The most memorable moments are always, always around the campfire. The opening campfires when Jerry Barnett was there. Let's say that. Because he'd always tell the, the story and the history of Boxwell. You know, and where it came from. Because, you know, Jerry is, Jerry is a man who realizes and understands that tradition is important. <laughs>